All right, boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly, and somebody on one of my videos requested, they asked me how to do a beard and, or a mustache, and this was on my, my uh, video showing how to use this uh, hair plug-in to generate hair. Honestly, it's almost identical, so I'm, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because there's no real reason for you not to just take what I've, what I've done in the other video. Uh, and use it, but uh, we'll, we'll do that. So anyway, what we did was we have this. Um, this is a Genesis eight figure, one of my one of my sample figures, just like we would normally do for clothing. The difference between uh, a hair hair that sits on the top of the head and hair that's anywhere else on the body is that hair on the rest of the body is uh, comes in as cloth. So uh, you don't have a skull cap. You just have you just draw the hair directly on, on the face. So I've got that body loaded in here and selected. There's no skull cap, it's just a regular body. And I'm gonna to go to grease pencil here and draw, and I'm gonna draw some um, some mustache stuff. <laughs> Don't know. And you know, once again, this isn't rocket science. You're just gonna, uh, I'm not a real good artist and, and I'm not gonna spend the time it would take to get this right. Cause basically I just wanna show you the principle, uh, just how it is in principle. These are actually a little too long because this mustache is going to end up really long. Eh, it's going to be one of those. I didn't trim my mustache today. Um, and, and, you know, you want to fill in, you know, as much as you want on here. Yeah, this is really, this is bad looking. This guy's going to need, uh, going to need some, uh, a shave. But once again, I'm, I'm not, I don't really care. This is exactly the same procedure as drawing the hair on the top of the head. Uh, you're just going to draw it, uh, you know, on the face somewhere. And and it may take you, uh, in this particular case, I'm only going to take a few minutes, but it, it may take you as much as an hour to do it right. You're going to draw those grease pencil strokes and, and get it on there. But let's just assume that, you know, we're done. Um, press escape to finish. So we've got, we've got the grease pencil strokes. So you notice the grease pencil by default draws on the surface of that object. It draws on that surface. That's what we want. We want it to be on that on that object and uh, and then when we go into uh, our tools here we have the hair tool loaded up and we want to generate the curves from the grease pencils and so we hit that and it generates it now you might say well my <laughs> that mustache looks pretty bad um, it, it is and and so what we want to do is reduce the default sizes on here I'm pressing the f6 key and the the default size the trim width is too big so I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce this down to something to where the mustache looks uh, a little, whoops, that, that's a little too small. Zero is too small. Uh, so there's three, uh, you know, you could, you could figure out, let's see, that's three, that's not bad, that's six. Uh, you could also type in exactly what you want. Well, we'll, we'll use six for now. So, so there's your strands. You want to uh, possibly uh, align the curve tilt to there, you can see that. You want to make sure the roots are embedded in there. Um, but it, it actually looks pretty good. See, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty on there. And one thing he's done that changes this, it used to be that we would change the curve ribbons to mesh and then apply the UV maps. Um, nowadays, he doesn't have it that way. Now he has it to where you apply the UV maps when they're on curve. So I, I asked him about this. I asked if that if that's actually changed or not, I haven't got a response back yet. So anyway, so right now, if you remember, we bring up the, uh, con uh, the space bar, control space bar. We're going for the hair, and so we're going to draw the UV maps. But before we do that, we want to make sure we switch our views to we're in the UV image editor. So we're in there. And, uh, and then we go to uh, uh, load an image. We're going to open an image up so we can actually... Um, load one in, we'll just load this image in. And so again, we, we gonna do there, gonna draw the UV map for the hair, and then we just go here and, and just um, just draw the maps. So again, this is exactly the same procedure, whether you're doing hair on the top of the head, whether you're doing it on the face, it's it's the same thing. It's just gonna end up a slightly different procedure when we're, when we're bringing it in. So I did those, I'm pressing the enter key. I've assigned the UV maps now, now I can change this back to the 3D view. And then the last thing we want to do is change the curve ribbons to a mesh object. So their mesh object looks good, okay to me. Uh, and that's really all we have to do at this point uh, for generating the hair. And then what we're going to do is, with this selected, with that particular thing selected, we're going to hold down the shift key. This is just how we do it with clothing. 
and select the uh, the root bone and then control P and assign it with empty groups so we're assigning oops I must have done that wrong let's go backwards I have that going here I must have hit the wrong thing here let's go to the curve we got the curve selected do shift and select the root and then do control P and with empty groups there we go okay that's better I, I don't know what happens Computers are weird. I tell you, I've been working with computers a half a century now, and they're still weird. And then with this, uh, then you must select the base body, and then holding down the shift key, we select that mustache. That's what that mustache is. And then we go to object mode, and we go to weight paint, and yes, that turns blue, so we know we did that right. Transfer the weights. Again, this is exactly the same thing as we would do on the, um, if it was hair, uh, on the head. And then we're going to change this to by name. We're set, and that's, and that's all we have to do. And then we just export this. So we go to export. Whoops. Go to export as FBX. We're going to turn off the leaf bones. We always turn off the leaf bones. Export mustache test. Export FBX. And then, uh, and then after it exports this, it's going to take a little bit of time to export this. I'm not quite sure why it takes so long to export just the mustache. There's not really a whole lot going on with it, but it, it does. And then we go into... Um, character creator which is over here and uh, this is one I had earlier but we're gonna uh, create a new one I'm loading in the mustache test here I'm what I'm doing is on this other monitor it's loading this in and then I load in the uh, the FBX key this is again exactly how we do it except now this is kind of like clothing because what's gonna happen is when we load this in like this uh, it because it's not attached to the top of the head it brings it in as cloth. Notice the cloth. You could change this and make this hair, but that's not what you want to do because it really isn't hair. Hair is very specific to the top of the head. And hair, the other, the other thing that hair does, which is specific, is it allows you to move it around and resize it on different characters. Uh, for facial hair, you don't really want that. And you also need to move it, have it move with the, uh, with the face as much as possible. So there we go. Bring that in. We come in here. Whoops. To the... Uh, before I switch from Blender to this, I always get the control keys mixed up on how I'm doing stuff, so I'm, I forget. Uh, and then we switch to the texture. Again, this is exactly the same as hair. We're going to go in here, change it to uh, this, and then for the base color, we're going to load in that same um, texture that we had for um, the test light here in there. So we're going to... Um, I didn't do that right. We're going to go into, there we go, test light hair. And that loads it in both opacity and the base color. And then, you know, then we can adjust the base color so we can get it to be, uh, you know, darker, darker hair if we want. Just the color and the contrast and whatever, saturation. You can even give it a hue if you want to have him uh, have red hair or something like that. Uh, and you might say, well, Mike, you know, it, 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 you didn't really cover it very well. Yeah, I know. Well, that's that's part of the problem. I, I didn't draw it particularly well. You can see with a mustache, you probably want to have it come out more. That would be in the, in this. You can actually adjust these to where they come out more on the uh, on the hair. So I could I could make these. That's where um, I don't see where that is here. Da, 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 da. Tools. Oh, that's right. I'm on the. Uh, the wrong tool. Anyway, there's a there's an option to have it not follow the curve of the face, but have, have it embedded. So, you know, you just have to play with that. But that's all part of the process of creating it. But in essence, that's it. And then you'll notice if you open the mouth, it uh, <laughs> it goes crazy because it's it's stuck on both the lower and the bottom. Again, that's because it's of the way it's coming down here. So you don't want to have that. You want to have it uh, all up in there. But that's that's really it. That's the you create it exactly the same way. Save it the same way. There's there's not any magic to this. Uh, it just takes a long time. And I, the reason I don't do this anymore is I just I, I just import it from Daz. So if you if I go here, let me just do something here. I'll show you something. It's just uh, there's so much Daz uh, hair that's available. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Eh, new, no. And we want to do base mail. Yeah, that really looks disturbing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay uh, anyway so so if we go to uh, and see notice I went to cloth because cloth is the hair here so there's there's mustaches you can buy from RL so there's a mustache 
I think I have in mine. I have to look around and see what I've got here. I don't know where I have this stuff anymore. I've got so much stuff. Jeez. Oh, where do I have my beards? I have my beards here somewhere. Uh, maybe it was in here. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, beards. Okay. So this is this is stuff from from uh, RL, but I also have somewhere I have. Hmm. I thought I had. Oh, there we go. There's Odin's beard. Okay. So this is this was a Daz beard that I uh, that I got and brought in. So you know, <laughs> this looks very disturbing. Uh, but anyway, um, so I, you know, I prefer to do that rather than, than try to create my own. It's a lot of work to create your own hair. Uh, and, and I just think it's, uh, it's far easier to just buy it now. And, and you would want to cut this out for the mesh. That's what you have to do on the thing is you go into the, um, <sighs> this is getting more involved than I really wanted to, but you go into edit mesh mode and then you go to hide the uh, areas. So. Backface selected, and uh, just kind of go in here and select this part, and then hide it, you know, that sort of thing. So, so you get it. So you, you know, you have to do that sort of thing to get it to get it the way you want. But in any case, um, that's that's what I do nowadays. I use the Daz hair. It's a lot simpler, but that at least shows you that you can create your own hair if you want. And hopefully, this satisfies that one guy that just was desperate. He said, "I can't do anything with my project till I have." Uh, a beard and a mustache, so now you can.